friends, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zealot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 8 Experimental Series. Um, last episode, I kind of just wandered around the alien planet down there called something, and got some arrestrium and some other stuff, and then we head back up to space, so... <clears throat> Oh, uh, I guess I could pick some of this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Get some veggies. Come on. Come on, really? Are you gonna be duped? Come on. There, thank you. I already picked the spice. Okay. Get some canned veggies going. So, I think today, um, I want to check out that system that's super close. That way we don't have to, uh, spend a ton of pentaxid to get back and forth just it's it's nice and close so let's let's do that so <clears throat> it is where is it the hard hard haragapal haragapal there we go super close so let's check it out and oh i guess i should turn my hang on that's why. Okay. So. Let's go check it out. Boy, this thing's sluggish. I need to add like 50 more RCSs to it. Okay, what? Okay. There we go. And... Haragapol, I guess. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. It looks like a lava planet. Kind of. A deserty lava planet? That's interesting. Don't see any asteroids. Oops. Is there an asteroid field somewhere? No? Let's take a look on the map. What do we got? Oh, we've got a moon. Okay. So, Zascosium in the asteroid field. Wow. And what about on the planet? We've got Neo Sath Promethium. And on the moon, we have Pentaxid, Iron, Silicon, Cobalt, Magnesium, and Cobalt for depletion. Pentaxid. <clears throat> Not breathable. It's barren. Planet size four. Gravity, low gravity. Kind of a dense atmosphere, though. But not too bad. Heavy acid rain. Eh. Stupid heavy acid rain is what ran us off before. What is this? A station? Mathera Vega Station. Okay. Uh, and there's this place, too. <coughs> Mahayati. So it sounds like we can find some Zascosium out in orbit here huh okay so we've got to look for we've got to look for um, got to look for asteroids that just kind of appear so we're way out a little far right now don't want to get too far from the planet so what we want to do is we want to straighten ourselves out we want to get almost parallel with the planet. Where is the planet? There it is there. So we want to get down a little lower. So what we're looking for is an asteroid just to appear in our screen, really. is It's kind of pathetic and sad, but... <coughs> So normally I like to keep a lot closer, but it just feels weird because the planet's so massive. It feels like I'm too close when I'm that close, but I think... I think I need to do that anyway. I still have a feeling they're going to be around the 4,000 kilometer range from the planet. 
equator. Level out. Okay, so now, what do we look like? Are we? We're not so bad. We're almost the equator. Okay, so that's that's pretty good. <coughs> okay. So we need to find an asteroid. Huh. Well. see nothing. I think what I'll do is I will jump ahead and bring you guys back once I actually find something. Okay, we are back. As you can see, we have found a Zaskosium asteroid. Woo! With like nothing around it. Absolutely nothing. Now, what's funny is I wish I had a drill on me and guess I'll just smash into things because you know that's better uh, I don't have any lights on this thing either so kind of not really that well prepared um, and I realized I did not take I don't have enough points to get the drill turret <laughs> so that sucks. Um, that means we've got to hand bomb it. Really? Really? Or... Now, I don't think I can spawn a CV on a CV, can I? Can I? I don't think so. But what we could do is potentially... Is there a... Is there even a trading station here? Maybe not. No. Okay. Um, well, I guess we hand bomb this. So <clears throat> the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to back up to it then. Or, you know what? I can just... This has a gravity generator on it. I'll just... Um, let's go like this and get as close as... Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. Come on. Come on, Zealot. Get... Get under control here. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty close. Uh, I'll be able to get a good chunk of that. So let's let's jump out. We've got uh, gravity, so we're golden, and we're stuck. <coughs> Actually, here I can just spawn the drone. And go out here and do some mining. So let's uh, tab in, tab out so that we can get our, um, yeah, I don't even need my my um, EVA boost doing this. So isn't that cool? Very cool. So let's get this. kind of jittering. I don't know what, what that's all about. So this will be exciting. This will actually get us what we need to get some more modern um, or not modern but like more advanced stuff. <coughs> I'll be able to get the gear that the mats I need to put a drill turret on this thing uh, to get proper a proper HV spawned in one that one that has all the necessary gear to do gear to do proper mining and uh, base rating so that's going to be the goal is to get this stuff and then head back um, whip it all up get it in the factory get a better HV going um, 
get a drill for the CV, then we can go mine some serious asteroids with the CV. And it's a lot faster and easier. <clears throat> it's safer. Because we're already in the cockpit. It's easy enough to just jump out of the turret and you're immediately in control of your ship. So it's, it's a much better way of mining. Um... And the HV we're going to bring in is going to be awesome at mining, too. The current one that I built just sucks. It just sucks on so many levels. Uh, an HV that I made in Alpha 6 it still turns out to be the best one that I've made so far for myself. That, that For functionality and um, drivability and the whole, the whole gambit, it just it works for me. So I'm going to be bringing that in again. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so let me finish mining this and I will be back when we find, so I'm going to mine this out and then um, we'll go explore a little bit more. Okay, be right back. Okay, we are back at the CV again. I just took a break from mining because I just broke another drill. Uh, but I remembered that we had looted that repair um, station. So let's install that. I also have an O2 station I want to put in. So let's do that really quick. Repair our stuff. I'm just going to pop this out. And we'll put the repair station in here. Because I can reach over the armor locker to use it, so that's cool. And but we'll face it towards. Is that the right way? I guess it just doesn't matter, does it? But <clears throat> that's fine. And then uh, we also have an O2 that we want to put in. So let's do that. Okay. And then. We also want to put these in there and repair them. Yay! We have our own means of repairing. That's huge. That's huge. Okay, now you notice I got a bunch of ammo on me. Well, I'm just going to put that away for a second because... Actually, here, we can just put it in here. We'll put it in the CV for now. 15,000 rounds. <laughs> Okay, um, because now that we've got a bunch of mats and stuff, we should be able to put that in the um, blueprint factory and get us a better HV. And then we can take this thing down to the planet and do some exploring, I think. Maybe take out the... Although, what, what was on the planet again? Let's take a look. So the moon. Um, so orbit is uh, Scosium Iron. And then the planet itself has Iron, Silicon, Neo, Promethium, and Sathium. So the Promethium, Sathium are kind of needed right now. So heavy acid rain. Well, we'll go check it out. We'll go check it out, and we'll pop the um, we'll pop the planetary vessel's um, platform, and that'll stop it from moving. And then we can take this thing down. So I guess what we need to do first, before we do that, is we'll go scout the planet with the SV, right? Right? Yeah. Although, did we finish cleaning this thing out? Nope. Nope, we did not. Nope. We still got lots of stuff in there. Okay, so hang on. Let's just quickly clean this out. Uh, we'll get some boosts. Throw those in there. Nice. <clears throat> we have fuel and tools. So let's. I try and keep everything organized. It just makes life easier when you go to find things. And we've got some blocks for 
back here. Okay. And then a bunch. So that'll go in the fuel. Um, oh, look at that. Yeah, but we need promethium. I don't want to go too crazy. Let's make another 10. That'll make 20. And sprouts, phoenix, fern frond, alien plasma. Ooh, we might, a couple of those. We might be able to actually um, make some healing stuff. So let's check that out. Let's actually go in and check that out. Or actually, we don't even need to go in. We don't need to go in. I'm standing on the base. I can go into here. Throw the stuff in there. And see what I can actually make. And sweet pistol. Okay. That sucks. <laughs> well, not sweep us all, but... Eh. Confetti moss. Wow, mushrooms. And alien plasma ZR1 for that. Okay. Trauma kit. Hmm. Okay. And so that, what does that do? Wow, that does a lot. Fracture closed. Fracture open. Broken leg. Sepsis, infected wound, open wound, necrosis, frostbite, and dermal burn. Wow. So I need to try and make some of those. Because so that'll give me the full gambit between the three, right? That's interesting. Okay. This does a bunch of what that does. That's not too bad. Okay. Um, well, I guess we'll just not worry about it. I guess we'll just move on. What I do want to do is actually turn, let's call this one the food processor and this one we'll call the med processor. So I think I want to move all the medical onto one different one. And then we can like throw some of our medicines in here to store well, we're not needing them. And <clears throat> we can actually grab the other stuff too. The fern, fern, herbal leaves. Natural stimulant. What do we need for all the med stuff? So plant protein, alien tooth. Oh yeah, the alien tooth thing. So we'll grab that, that. Or that, that. Okay. Uh, like spice or anything? No, okay. Okay. <clears throat> we'll put that over there. Free up some space over on the other one. Okay. Uh, well, I think think did we get everything out of here no I don't think we did no we didn't we did not some gold some blocks and I think that's it for its cargo yeah constructor oh has a bunch of stuff uh, I think we can just leave that stuff in there for now that's fine that's fine <coughs> And does it have any food? No. Um, oh, you know what? You know what? I'm not going to take all this ammo. I'm not going to take all the ammo. I need a bunch for the SV. Okay. Throw those away. We can put that away. Tools, why not? And that goes in the med processor, right? Right? Alien torn? I think so. Okay. Let's, um. <clears throat> we've got enough fuel. Do we got enough oxygen? Uh, do we need to make more? Got 75 on us. Got 50 of those. Okay, so let's just let's just grab some food and go. 
We'll just grab some food and go. Uh, where's all our food? We'll grab, sure, these short stack canned vegetables. Throw that in the fridge. Okay, and then we'll load this stuff up. So we'll fill that up. We'll fill that up. We'll fill that up. Okay, we're golden. <coughs> Oops. The other thing I can do too. The other thing I can do too is I can actually warp over to that other planet if I wanted to. I could warp back to there. Warp to there. That's five, that's 12. That would just give me enough to get back to here. That's not a bad idea. So if we, yeah, maybe. Let's go check out the planet. So it's deceivingly large. Thank God we can fly faster. And I'm not really sure. I think I should come down above the... I think I should come down above the um, lava. That way there's not gonna be a POI shooting at me, right? Right? Let's see. And ugh, it always looks like you're going to crash into the lava. Okay, what do we got here? We've got... Let's just straighten out. There we go. So, I can't really see squat. Does this help us? Night sight? Yep. Yeah, it does help. Okay. I don't see any POIs. Nope. Okay, so don't really want to travel around at night. So what we want to do is we want to head east. Should be able to catch daylight. And I, oh, Neo with something guarding it. Uh, it's a pretty good little Neo patch. I think I'll just kill the dude anyway, just for shiz and giggles. Because, you know, they can't shoot back when I'm on top of them like that <coughs> and large plasma drones have whoa, whoa whoa turn the night sight off large plasma drones have very good loot or at least I've, I've found them to have potentially good loot Yeah, high rads on this planet. Come on. And really? Okay, not that great. Not that great. That's okay, though. So, we've uncovered a Neo spot. Oh, look at that. Worms. Oh, and... Uh, Eggs? Okay. So, kind of reminds me of Omicron a little bit, eh? Let's see how hot it gets over the lava. Um, it's not. It's not getting hot. And there's metaxid everywhere. Really? Huh. But look at the radiation. Holy crap. 
but I think I could deal with that, right? I could like Let's see. Let's just let's see if we get instantly nuked. I don't think we're going to get instantly nuked. Uh, let's put a grab a gun. I can't really see. I'm scared. I am freaked out. Let's just grab these really close ones. Oh yeah, I am getting nuked really fast. Holy crap. And I just saw some more. And I'm too hot. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, come on, jump in, get in, get in, get in. I got a heat stroke. No, no, no. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so, well, that's not cool. Let's see what's the rads like over here. So rads come down substantially out of the... Okay. Well, I didn't quite hit one rad unit, so what I can do to get rid of what I've got, at least in the past, so let's check this out. Do eating vegetables. Here, let's put it over here just so we can see. Go into the player. It's eating vegetables. Get rid of my rad points. Where's the rad? Where is it? Is it showing it? So we're currently at 0.6 and eat one and we are at 0 0.0. Okay, so so yep, eating eating anything it seems before you've suffered a full rad uh, gets rid of all your radiation. So that's good. But if you suffer a full rad, you can't get rid of that unless you have special meds or um, like a, sh uh, a shower, stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's keep searching. Let's keep searching. I think what I'll do is I am going to. kind of just leave you guys for a minute and I'll bring you guys back when I actually and if I actually find anything I'm going to switch back to night sight okay so uh, we'll be right back okay we are back uh, we have found something we found some drones protecting a sathium a huge sathium deposit which I want and what? A meteorite incoming? Really? Where? Um, let's, oh, and the sun's coming out. Wow. Is that ever bizarre looking? So everything's all green. All green. Well, let's take care of these drones protecting the Sathium node. And 284 is my range. Okay, 284, 284. And right there. And right there. Nice. Nope, what? Did I see something flashing over there? Another. Oh! More dudes and another 3300 Sathium. Wow, super awesome. Okay, um, let's get this first. These guys are far enough away, right? Yeah, they're not coming at me. They're not coming at me. No. Large double minigun drone. They coming at me? They look like they might be. No. Nope. Okay. Let's just quickly loot this large 
double minigun drone then. And we just get some bullets and fuel. That's okay. Whatever. That's better than a kick in the face. And another meteorite in company? Really? Um, hmm. Seems a little excessive. What kind of meteorites fall here? Neo, Sath, and Promethean. Promethean. Well, nothing on random, though. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. That might be just a bug. Maybe there's no... Maybe it's not falling? I don't know. <coughs> that seems like a bug if it's falling right now. Okay, those guys are a little bit close, but I think I can loot it without him coming after us. Yeah. Let's do this. And just some ammo. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Let's kill these guys. So, 284. Personally, I think they need to fix the drones so that they can fire up and down a bit better and not just get all stun locked as soon as you start hitting them with, with weapons fire because that seems a little silly. That just seems a little silly. Oops. I'm not low enough. Thinking, get a little lower, and oh, there's some critters about. Critters are about. Okay. other guys and then we'll start on the mining and I'll probably call it a episode as I get some of the sathium done come on come on really big of a loot payout. One worse than my last one. Did I... An what? Another meteorite? Maybe this is the type of planet where I want to build a base on and have like a... my good HV that can deal with meteorites really easy and... and uh... and like a... a smelter and stuff. I loot? Large cannon drone. I haven't looted that one, I don't think, did I? Oh, well, no, I looted that one, so it's the other one. The other large one. Large double minigun? Didn't I already loot that one, too? Now I'm confused. Did I loot them all? Did I actually loot them all? No. No, I did not. <laughs> that was quite the, uh, oh, you know what? I gotta put those back in my, eat one of those, throw it back in the fridge. Don't want to waste it, waste them. Okay. Uh, okay, well that was decent enough loot just from the drones here. What was that? Some, uh, power coils. That's, that's awesome. Okay, uh, we can also throw that stuff in the, in there. Let's do the, um, what do we got? We can go like this. Okay. So, let's land this.
Jump out. No. Nope. Get the drone going. We're gonna close all the hatches here, because that's um or at least the back one. And we'll close the top one too, just in case just in case stuff starts crawling over my vehicle. And we've got to keep an eye out for the patrol vessel, because I have not found its platform. So <clears throat> let's start mining this. Um, or is it Sathium? Yep, so they're all the nuggets. Okay. <laughs> Chase him with the survival tool, eh? See if I can kill an Otog with a survival tool. On hard mode. I think that's kind of ridiculous. Okay, the drones are starting to disappear, so we've got to be aware of potentially incoming uh, reinforcements. Okay, well... Uh, I'm not going to bore you guys mining, so we've found some more Sathium. This is awesome. This is going to really get us into the uh, uh, good shape here f for some of the higher-end gear that we can start making really quick here. Uh, well, guys, I think I'm going to leave it here. This is kind of a cool-looking planet, so it's a barren planet, class 4. Haven't really uncovered anything, haven't covered uncovered anything at all, but there is a trading station that I might go check out. Well, guys, until next episode, you have yourselves an awesome, awesome day. <laughs>